Here in the score section, we've given you four different pieces of music to work from. One of them is an original score that comes from the first edition that doesn't have any of our bowings or markings in it. It's not edited at all. There are some um, things that are cleaned up and clarified and those are clearly marked. And so you can see those in the score for yourself. The second score includes my quartet's bowings and dynamics so that you can see what everyone is doing in the group, what we've decided to do, not because you should do that, but just to give you an idea of how we approached it and the dynamics that we ended up working. The third piece of music is your part that doesn't have any editorial marks. It doesn't have our bowings or dynamics or fingerings. It is just the original for your part. The fourth part is your part again, but this time it has the bowings, dynamics, and some fingerings. We decided to include the bowings and fingerings and dynamics of what we use as a quartet just as a reference for you so you have an idea of what we did. And by all means you can use them if you want to but we hope that you find your own music and your own way of playing it. And if you are just getting started in your string quartet journey then it's a great place to start. They've worked very well for us but um, just as a disclaimer they're constantly changing. So what we do today may be different than what we did six months ago. Hopefully it's different than what we did six months ago. If you are more advanced and would like to just use the original, then by all means just use that and use ours as a, re as a reference if you want to, or don't look at them at all. It's fine. You can just use the original. That's what we started with and that's a really great place to start. And really that's all you need to get going.